Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're working more on my RPG Maker program. I have decided to do one more video for today. <coughs> we left off the last video somewhat finishing this event. It's done for now. And there might be more I need to add to it later to get the um, character creation stuff done. Well, for what I can do for character creation with the unfortunate limitations on the program. But for now, that is done. Well, we, what I'm going to work on now, instead of making maps and whatnot, which... Oh, I did say I was going to try something after that was done, but... <coughs> hmm. Do I want to try that or not? Maybe, we'll see. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose a currency icon thanks to a plug-in that I got off of Steam and as far as I know that plug-in is still open for commercial use if it is not that is no big deal I will get rid of it and have no icon at all because JavaScript is beyond me. Why the base program does not have the ability to change your icon for currency from just a letter G, don't ask me why. They could easily implement the system. They implemented a transfer zoom function for the map event transfer. They could implement this as well. So we need to get a icon for our currency. So it's not just a letter G. Because that is all the program comes with is the capital letter G for gold. Talk about laziness. So I currently have 361, which is a gold coin. <clears throat> I wanted to do an idea where instead of having gold or copper, silver, bronze, or, well, or you know, platinum, or even paper money, I wanted to have... This might sound weird, given that my game has a medieval feel to it. I wanted to do, like, so something that we... I don't care. There's no tornadoes or no nothing in the forecast. I don't care. I wanted to do something different. Something similar to what we have in real life. So like a credit system. So I'm thinking like maybe a type of credit card system. If I can find the right icon for it. If not, then I will do something else. I might go back and just stick with what I have now, which is the coin symbol but I want to see if I can find something that resembles that sort of resembles a credit card slash debit card maybe maybe even though you know because I mean sure it's a it's a medieval based game like everything looks in well to me it does maybe it's not medieval but to me it kind of is but 
It's not futuristic. I'm not going to use any, like, cars or whatever, but there are going to be some some advancements as well, you know, as well. But nothing too fancy like that to where you can travel across the world in, like, two hours. I mean, that could pass... What about up here? No, it's just weapons. Um, those are notes. That's a book. It's a purse. I could do a coin purse instead of a... I could do a coin purse. And there's one right there. No, I could... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, no, hold on. I have an idea. I wonder, and that might require, um... Oh, yeah, no, that would require, um... No. I wouldn't do that, no one. People wouldn't play the game, then. Huh. I was gonna say I could do a um a ledger system to where you the player has to keep track of your own money after each battle at each point in the game where you open a chest or you sell something, you have to manually write down how much money you have, but then no one would play the game. Because who wants to do that? No one. But it would be a good way to teach people how to budget. The only thing is I would have to go into the um, actual backbone of the program. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. It's not worth it. I'm afraid I would break stuff. I'm not going to do that to my to my to my project. It's not worth it. JavaScript is no. I'm good. Though I wonder, is there a way to make it to where you have money, but it doesn't actually show up in the inventory or the menu? Hmm. I don't think there's a way to do that. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, there might be a way, but I'm not able to think of one, unfortunately. So, I have this icon, this icon as a type of credit card system or I could do a money bag what is down here nothing that's just armors and weapons okay I mm, I could look for another tile set that has the exact same icons and more but the more option is um let's just say nintendo would get pissed because um 
Pokeballs, um, Pikachu would be in, in it. So, that would be, um, a no. <laughs> I don't want to piss off Nintendo. Impossible Fire Emblem as well. Actually, no, Definite Fire Emblem as well in the tile set. So, that would be a big fat no. I don't want to piss off Japan. I could do a book icon for the money. Be something different. Have it to where as if it, as if you have your your money written in a book and not as a um an actual physical piece of object. Actually, the more I think about it, the extra tile set or icon set would also have the Buster Sword from for Cloud. So that would be a, a big fat now as well. I do remember seeing that in there as well. <laughs> so as tempting it is for me to go and grab it from the internet, if I can find it, man, that's a big fat now. Yeah, I might do that, actually. Instead of having this or this or this or this or any of these be the currency, I'll have it be a ledger. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. All right, where's my books? Books, books, books. Where are my open books? Okay, they're, they are right there. I don't have very many, unfortunately. I will pick this one right here. So 230 is what I need, okay. 230. So then we go to system and then 230, okay it, save it, and we do this. Now that event's going to play out, but that's okay. I need to check it anyway for grammar errors anyway. I wonder if I could. No, I'll leave it the way it is. Okay, I need to pull up this as well so that I can go through and fix stuff if needed. Well, there's a grammar error already. Sir, pissingly well behaved. Surprisingly. I need to fix that real quick. Surprising, surprise. Okay, I know how to spell surprise. Surprising. That doesn't look right. Hold on, hold on. Um, let me just get the correct spelling here. Let me just get the correct spelling here. Let me not dox myself. Thank you. Surprisingly, I got it right. <laughs> okay, then. That is now fixed. Okay. And actually, minimize. Okay, so now I want this one. Okay. That is now fixed. That looks good. And there's not going to be any voice acting 
because that costs money. And I have no idea how to add voices to this, so... <coughs> I need to put another word in there. It is hard to believe such a small child caused that much damage. It is hard to believe that such a small child caused all no caused that much damage. Yeah, I need to add I need to add another word. And now that is cut off, but that is okay. And that is fixed. Okay. No, I was trying to, um, I will do this instead. So much damage. There we go. on my freaking mouse pad this time. But sorry, it's cat hairs. What is that? Hmm. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Alright, so that one is now fixed. You actually think I caused all of that damage? I'm a child. How can a child do something? That, that one seems fine. Um, I need to fix that because now this is where the preview is wrong again Edit preview see here how it's not cut off but in In here it's cut off so Yeah There's gonna be more like that trust me Alright, so that is fixed now. How do you know who I am? Very simple, we have our ways of finding stuff out. More like you forced people to say it was me. What if I told you my power has been gone for a few years now? Okay, so that does not coincide with what he said. Yeah. What if I told you my power 
has been gone for a few years. We were told by our siblings who also happen to be gods or goddesses. So he does not mention anything there. So I want to make a... This might require a batch entry as well. We'll see. Actually, no, it will be. It will require one, actually. Let's see if that fits. Okay, so it should fit, and I should not need a batch entry. I hit preview. I hit preview. Another Windows error right there, people. Fix your shit. Windows, please. For flick six, dude, please. I click on something. The button presses and depresses, and nothing happens. So that should be fixed. Um, I spelled powers wrong. I see that already. I want to add more to this one. Uh, I need to fix this as well. Yeah, I'll put You know what? I don't really need this anymore. I can just do it from here. It's a lot easier, honestly. Let's put a minute wrong. I see that now. Okay. I want to add more here. Way. 
No. I'm going to do that instead. Okay, then it picks back up where I actually want it. Yeah, so that is an outfix. Uh, I need to fix this real quick. Up here, grammar errors abound everywhere. I love it. Yeah, okay, now that is fixed. Okay, good. Yeah, that's better. That's better flow, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not good at writing stories or nothing. So, we'll see. Anyways, that is now done. So, now let's go into here. We have our icon. And I will show you what it looks like in the actual game. Oh, well, I gotta do this first. Actually, hold on, you know what? Idea. <laughs> and it is down here. So this is our our ledger. I could change it to be something else. See, now it's the coin. I could do that, but honestly, having it be a book or a ledger kind of makes sense because, I mean, sure, there is minerals and all that to make a currency, but why have a currency? Why not have a, a ledger of sorts? Now, if I could pro, if I could, if, if it didn't involve coding, and I knew how to make a proper ledger system without coding, like without actually coding JavaScript, I would. But that more than likely involves coding JavaScript. So, that is beyond me, unfortunately. And yes, I know that the health and all that was the same. That will change, don't worry. <sighs> Whoops, wrong one. Oh, I didn't do this. <laughs> Time to be a douche. <laughs> oh, I love being a douche. I love being a douche to you. Just that one, or is it that much? We're going to be doing this for all of it, though. The player character, the party characters, everyone. I want leveling up to be 
not a challenge, but a reward. I don't want it to be hard, but I don't want it to be too easy either. So, I have my reasons behind it. Alright, so... Let's make some classes. How many should I have? Hmm. Hmm, okay. Let's see here. I need classes, classes, classes. Do I want a class change as well? Or just... Okay, um... There's going to be one playable character and then three other members in a party. Okay, so I have... Okay, I have an idea actually, hold on. Let me go back to here. Party members. Okay, there's that. And I wanna I wanna put a cut here. Because I unfortunately need to use the toilet. But I will come back with some more. And we will pick up from there. So in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.